This is Monday, April 26th, meeting of the Berlin Board of Assessors. As a preliminary matter, please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able, may be able to see you. Take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. This is Kevin Pond, Chair of the Board of Assessors. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me prior to me calling the meeting to order. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Bev Wheeler? Here. Roger Bradley? Here. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Molly Reed, Assessing Director? Here. Okay, do we have any anticipated speakers on the agenda? No. Okay. We, we have no guests. Okay, well, that's too bad. For the quorum of the board president, I call this meeting to order at 6.03 p.m. on Monday, April 26, 2021. Okay. Thank you. Motion so, to accept. What? Okay. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading. I, I did the um, minutes for March 29th when we had the joint meeting with the Board of Selectmen. They're very short. It just says that we went to the Selectmen's meeting because the Select Board received a letter from Roger Bradley to fill the open Board of Assessors vacancy. Roger was introduced at 728. Bev Wheeler made a motion to appoint Roger to fill the vacancy on the Board of Assessors until the election on May 24th, 2021. Scott Hawkins seconded in the select board and assessors voted unanimously and the assessors left at 730. Okay. So do we have to approve those minutes, Molly? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. I motion to approve. Okay, I'll, I'll second if I can. Roger's going to second. Okay. <laughs> right. Can I have a roll call vote? Um, Bev? Here. Aye. Aye. Kevin? Aye. Roger? Aye. Unanimous. He's voting for himself. <laughs> <laughs> And then we oh. met on April 12th and we were all here and we approved the minutes. Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. Yeah, we approved the minutes from, must've been March 29th, 26th. Yeah. Yes. I will update that. Okay. Um, Bev made a motion to approve, Kevin seconded, and uh, was uh, was a unanimous vote. Correspondence was um, Social Security, the FY22 um, information on Social Security de deductions for exemptions and what to put on tax bills and the dates and stuff for tax bills. We welcomed Roger. Um, we, I went over the AT, the abatements, we only had the deemed denials left. Um, and the date is coming, I think it's May 6th is the date that people have to file by if they want to go to the appellate tax board. We, I told you about the um, near map demo that I did. Um, I let you know that Vision was having their educational summit on well, it will be this Wednesday and Thursday, the 28th and 29th. And the, the office is reviewing sales, parcels, split, building permits, and everything that we need to do for to get our billing in order. And the mm -hmm. signature items were accounts payable, motor vehicle abatements, exemptions and CPAs, exemptions, the minutes from March 22nd. There they are. Put it, I put them at the bottom. Okay. I see it. <laughs> and payroll. 
the old business is review classification and compensation report, small commercial exemptions for FY21 and 2020 sales. I had, I, um, I also had printed out for you the banker and tradesman sales. I didn't know if that was easier for you guys to read. I like that myself. That's what I dropped off to you, Kev, while you were on the phone. Okay. Yeah, that was good. And, and Roger, I can mail you yours if you want. And then the meeting was adjourned at 627. Mm. So motion to I motion. accept. I motion. And Roger will second. And second. A voice call, uh, Kevin. In favor, yes. Bev? Yes. Roger? Yes. Okay, we only had a couple of pieces of correspondence. Um, the building inspector send, sent out I, a- Can I back up for a minute? Sure. On, on the assessing director, on the April 28th and 29th vision annual, uh, where, where are you gonna go to do that? here in the office it's a okay. zoom it, we aren't going anywhere uh there we go okay is the office open during that time or um no well, no because right? the town hall's not open so it doesn't okay. matter okay all right that fixes that and you don't have to mail roger his stuff if i come in tomorrow i'll just drop it off on my way home okay we'll save what is it, 59 cents now? Okay. I have no idea because we have those pre-printed envelopes. Oh. <laughs> I'm no, still I'll on just, forever stamps. <laughs> I'll, I'll just drop it off. Okay. Okay. That okay. fixes that. All right, sorry. So the building inspector sent, sent CC'd us um, for 61 Summer Road. He um, did a cease and desist because somebody had asked about that property and he did not apply for building permits, so. Are they building up there now? They were, they were, uh, I believe they were doing some home renovations, but it looked, I guess somebody said that they, it looked pretty intensive. So um, that's what he chose to do. All right, so What's our role in that mall? Are we going to go up and tax them for what they've done already, or? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go look at it, but we don't really have a role. It's nice of him to let us know that he was doing that. Yeah, I would nice. much prefer to get plans and stuff from zoning and planning that I don't ever get. But <laughs> well, so yeah, we'll take a look at it. Did he say what their route of action is going to be? They're going to come before all these boards, get the permits, and then continue? Um, or? I guess so. It said, um, for your convenience, we have online permitting software. You can log on in to inspectional services and apply for one. So. OK. All right. <clears throat> and just that reminder from Dennis that, oh, yeah. that uh, Joanne had emailed you last week that open enrollment is till May 1st. Right. So if you want to get the I. I'm bringing that tomorrow, Lynn. Okay. Thank you for that reminder. Yeah, I had to, re it was mostly on there to remind me to do mine. <laughs> and for the town administrator, um, let's see, she sent a, these are all emails, the final ATME, ATM warrant and annual town meetings are posted to the website. The select board, uh, we were supposed to meet with the select board tonight, but it's postponed till May. Virtual coffee talk for pre-town meeting information is going to be this Thursday at 630 and you, I'm sure you'll be able to go to my town government to get that link, unless you want me to send you a link, let me know. And um, she's looking into maybe opening, reopening the town hall on May 10th, but she needs to do all the coronavirus protocols and everything and 
make sure that people understand that they have to follow all the protocols. So I got and, my second vaccine today. So all I right. got mine last Wednesday. Great. I got all well, my puppy shots. <laughs> <laughs> where Great. where is that virtual coffee talk pre-town meeting being held? On Zoom. Yeah, but where, what's the location? Is it Town Hall or is that 19 Carter or? It's on Zoom. It's not, it's, it's held just like this meeting is. Okay, so everybody's separate. Yeah. Selectmen aren't going to show up and be in a group. No. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, I told you about that near map. And I want to do a demo for um, other departments like planning and building and everything. Do you guys have a date? Would you like to see it also? How long is it going to be? The, the one that she gave me wasn't more than a half an hour. Can we do it at night or does it have I'm, you know, That's what I'm going to. I believe these two work. I will. That's what I was looking for, um, a time span. So I'm also going to send it out to the chairs of planning, zoning, conservation. Am I missing anybody? So I'm just trying to get a consensus. I'm interested I wanted you guys, anybody else. I is. wanted you guys to have first choice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know them all. I would probably say uh, it doesn't matter later is better like after work is better for me i i'm guessing six o'clock i never, or, know. I never six know. or later no i think six would be okay okay but okay. again if, if all the other boards you know want it at 9 a.m on a tuesday then i don't know maybe we give two of them how how and yeah no she, they'll she'll do as many as she wants because she's selling a product so um. okay and this is through who now? Near map, N E A R. Yeah. And how are they? How are they different than the mapping company we have now? This is a. We don't. We just have CMRP. We don't really have a mapping company. But this is virtual. This is. Um, it's like Google Map but at a much higher resolution. So you can get right down to the house and like be standing in front of the house and, and look at the property. At Google, you can only get down so far and then it pixelates and you can't really right. see anything. So, and it's not, it's a subscription. So it would be like buying, um, we don't have to house any software or anything. We just need, need to, um, be able to log into their site. So this is like a subscription fee for this, which hmm. is that I didn't realize that, which makes it very appeasing yeah, to me, to me at least, because I don't have to worry about software or where it's going to be housed or any of that stuff. And the second, third thing is they fly, they do flyovers twice a year in the spring and in the fall when there's no leaves on the trees. So we would have twice a year updated visual of the property in Berlin. I, the Mass Highway does flyovers every once in a while over the highways, which I have, I do have a link to their program, but it's not, it doesn't get as low as this one does. And in May, Joanne Graziano is going to be doing a, who's our, who, the bureau chief at the Department of Local Services is doing a uh, webinar on virtual assessing because she thinks that's the way it's going to be going in the future if we can't get out to properties to lay a hand on them. So. And she also stated when she told us she was going to do this webinar that this could be 
COVID because we couldn't get out and measure houses oh, right. during COVID, COVID related, so. But this is like a drone, Molly? <laughs> no, well, I don't know how they fly over it. I'm okay. assuming they fly over it with an airplane, but um, unlike Google does it from the street, but you can't, their resolution is too large. The resolution on this is smaller. I think I'm doing that right. I might have it inverted, but you can really zoom right down and put your little guy and be standing right in front of the house. And you can do, you can Wait, walk around the house. <laughs> you can walk around the house on ground level too. Wow. So it was pretty cool <laughs> actually. So that's why I wanted you to see the demo. So what, what did the subscription cost? Sorry? What is the subscription cost? It's like 7,000 uh, initial fee. I didn't, I don't think I had a conversation with her about what it would cost yearly, but I'm assuming around the same price. Now, gonna... how would this affect Jack and Joanne doing walk arounds if they couldn't get into? People? Well, it would, um, as of now, I can't really say because I don't know what, I know that the Department of Revenue has backed off their cyclical um, inspections for the last two years. So 20 and 21, they aren't um, being as harsh as they usually are. So I don't know how to answer that yet. Okay. I don't have enough information. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see the demonstration so yeah maybe i'll do one for board board people and then department heads because i if, if everyone's not going to use it then it's probably not it probably is not worth the investment if we're the only ones who are going to use it if all the departments are going to use it yeah okay then, then it would but be better at least we can see it and see what's yep. out there Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just spring is the time for educational offerings, I guess. There's a there's the vision user group this week, and then in May the DLS is doing that two workshops. Um, the Northeast Regional is doing a workshop. There, oh, the summer conferences in June. And the NRAO is in May in their multiple day conferences. So I'm just letting you know that there's, and they're all Zooms. So okay. it's, uh, it's, although they are charging us because they're multiple day ones, but it's not as bad as going to one. Let's see, for FY22, we're, you know, we're still doing the parcel splits building permits, inspections, we're going to restart cyclical and um, ongoing prep for recap and billing. So I just want to let you know that the treasurer collector and the building inspector are both getting new software this year. The, the treasurer collector is software I'm assuming is going to, I, because I've used this before, is going to um, change how we do some work processes as far as exemptions and motor vehicle excise and month endings and stuff. Um, but I don't know yet. I'm just putting it out there that more chores are coming into our office. It won't make it easier? I think so, but uh, well, it'll make it easier for the treasurer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I well, hopefully they can communicate with one another. The yeah. software. Yeah, that's not an issue. They've got my software company has that down pretty pat for all the billing, um, billing people, billing software companies. So, um, so that's it. It took me all day today practically to do the exemptions and the month endings because I've been 
Rose usually does them, so it took me a lot. I had to reteach myself. <laughs> Speaking of Rose, how's she doing? She, they're doing good. Um, okay. And is or she doing as well as can be expected? Okay. And and she's not available to do that now. Correct. And why is that? Well, she's out on family medical leave. Okay. So she's out totally then. Okay. Yeah, she, uh, if, I That's suppose fine. I could have, I could have had her help me today, but I needed to do it on my own so I can do it yeah. anyhow. So it was okay. a teaching, no. it was a teaching I, moment. I thought she was still working part-time. So uh, my Very, era. very part-time. She's been coming in on Mondays that we have board meetings to do stuff, but she couldn't really come in today, so. Oh, okay. Okay. And she ended up that. staying longer because of Molly's surgery, I think, right? Sorry? Didn't she end up staying a little bit longer because of your surgery? Yes. And she's still, we haven't put out the job description or anything. And now we have oh, to okay. wait until the family right. medical leave is done. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. And then I just have some, uh, oh, we need to order more of the stamped envelopes. So I put that on the accounts payable to be signed. I just don't know what the final total is yet, but I need the check cut in order to get the stamps. Yeah. Because they don't, they don't do anything unless we give them the check. <laughs> Amazing. The government is very, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good at watching our money. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, have you ever done that stamps.com? Like they send you a scale for free and you can print out your own stamps the, off the computer. You just the, pay for the postage. Yeah, but the envelopes just work out better. They come pre-postaged. Okay. And okay. we get... We, you, We've been using more window envelopes than the regular ones. So that's why I was the window right. ones are usually a little bit more expensive. So yep. I was going to change the order around. And um, that's about it till May. OK. So it would be right. May, May 10th and May 24th, unless the 24th is a holiday, which my calendar does not tell me right now. Okay, so uh, does anybody have any questions? Nothing on the 24th is a holiday. Okay. I have no questions. No. It's the, the 31st is the holiday. So it's May 10th and 24th. And the and time, we'll the time gonna be at six, six. Yeah, six, six. o'clock. And are they going to reschedule the, is it Finn? No, the select board? Yes, Ooh. she's going to give, she, we, yeah, she's going to give me a date sometime in May. So that's to be determined. So hopefully it can be May 10th or 24th, maybe. I'll, I, will, meeting. I will ask her that. And then we can do, kill two birds in one stone, maybe, guys? Yes. Good. What was the selectman? Why do we have to meet with them? Um, all department heads meet with them to give them a, a department update. So she was wondering if we wanted to do that. And I said, I said, yes, I can go by myself. I said, yes, because I want to um, sort of it, forewarn about the residential properties selling like hotcakes and commercial properties not. And that we're going to really have to watch the split this year. So. I, and I was going to try and run some reports to see if I could estimate how the split was going to be. Yep. Yeah. Uh, better to get started on it before so everyone's pre-warned. Yes. Um, how many times we bill a year now, Molly? Twice. Everybody else is what, four times? 
quarter. Well, when... not not everybody else. There's still no. a couple of biannual. Do we ever think of going to the quarterly, the four times a year or not? Um, that help us I, or hurt us? I asked them, they were talking about it, but I asked them not to do anything during the reval year because it was, it, it, it's gonna be a big change in time and in process. And I don't think the current billing system, um, but set up. I guess that was my million dollar question coming up is the billing system that we're going to get capable of quote doing that yes or okay is i'm Dennis sure that this i'm sure that this billing system is capable of doing that but i don't know what the contract calls for is what because okay. that can be more work sometimes kevin billing four times because you're postage four times, four times the labor. Well, I, I'm i just wondering, I think you get a, a little you can, kit and you, you get can, two bills in the first one and two in the second. Sometimes do it that way, sometimes so do it. It's not quite double the postage, but good idea. But I'm just throwing it out there. Dennis is going to get new software that you know, has no idea about billing four times a year. I don't the, know why the, would be the, right get on that boat. I guess so. I don't the know. administrative finance team has been kicking it around and have not come up with a conclusion yet. Yeah. Okay. I don't. You know, I think too much change for people too. I was going to say people really don't like change. So yeah. <laughs> no, you get the elderly that are used to. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I just thought if it was easier, but I, I'd hate to come to a conclusion and say, maybe let's do it and then find out it's 10 times the work and it just doesn't work out. And one new s software system, if we had known that going in, we would have done this. That's all. I'm just trying to prevent yeah. that from happening. That's all. And ch chasing four different bills. You what broke was up. That? And if you're chasing four different bills from somebody, you know what I mean? First quarter, second quarter, third yeah. quarter. Yeah, yeah. Might be more of a headache then. Uh, maybe. A help. Maybe. Okay. I didn't like it when I first came here. <laughs> I was used to quarterly. Now, now I'm like, I kind of like biannual because there's a <laughs> lot of, there's a lot of um, commercial people who don't know when to file. <laughs> so let's not post that. No, yeah. Just, yeah. Keep that. All right. So that's uh, it. And and Roger, you don't have to come in and sign because all the stuff they need to sign is from prior okay. meetings when you weren't here to vote on it. So um, okay, yeah. Okay. And anything for him. I might I should be able to make it in there tomorrow, I'm guessing, but okay. Uh, and anything for him that he should have, I'll just pick up and drop it off. Yeah, actually, I could email it to you, Roger. There we go. I only I only print it out because Kevin likes paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of the time I have it for a couple of seconds. I at least see it. Email, I don't see. Uh, I'll take a printed copy. If you... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All, All right. right, so... I have 631. Okay. Somebody want to make a motion to quit? Raj, would you? Sure. I'll make a motion that we uh, adjourn this meeting. I second that motion. Okay. Motion on the floor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.